Hi, this is Susan from Stuart Design. In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about master pages in InDesign. The first we're going to, thing we're going to do to get started is create a new document. I'm going to Command N on my keyboard, bring up a new document. All right, here's the deal. Right now, it's measuring in uh, picas, and we don't want that. We want our measurement in uh, inches. There's a way of changing this, so go ahead and cancel that out. If you go into InDesign Preferences, go down to units and increments. All right, right now units and increments, we want to change that from the horizontal and vertical to inches. All right, so go ahead and change those to inches and press OK. Now I'm going to go back and create a new document, Command N. All right now, uh, the intent is print, which is fine. Number of pages, I'm going to go ahead and go in and just make it eight pages. Facing pages is fine. Um, right now it's letter, not a problem. Your columns, I'm going to go ahead and just make my column six. I like working in six columns, but however that might differ uh, for you as a designer depending on what, how many columns you like to work in for two or how, however that works. Right now uh, for my margins, I'm going to go in and just uncheck this uh, setting and put my margin at all of these, my top margin, my inside, my outside, that's fine, they can be 0.5 but I need a little bit more room at the bottom, so I'm just going to do 0 0.75. Now for my bleed, I'm just going to go ahead and make my bleed 0.125, which is standard for a lot of bleeds. 0.125, definitely standard. Sometimes you'll go up to 0 0.25, uh, depending on the publication. So, But like I said before, 0.125 is total standard for bleeds. I'm going to press OK. Booyah! Okay. Here's our document. Now if I, you look at my document, I'm going to go ahead and just pull these pages out and then collapse all the rest of these uh, windows here. All right. So now if I look at my pages, right now all of my pages, so if you notice, if you look here, all of my pages are already have a master page applied to them or assigned to them. Right now, on my master page, um, I want to assign my folios, which actually just mean page numbers. So here's the deal. Um, master pages are pretty much any consistent element that you want on all of your pages, especially for a multi-page document. It can be a graphic. It can be titles. It can be um, chapter numbers. So but in this case, um, it's just going to be my folios, which are my page numbers. So now if I go in and uh, to change this right now, it's a master. Right now I want to make it a, so I can go back in and I can change this. So if I option double click, all right, the name comes up. And I'm, instead of master, I'm just going to make this folios just to organize myself a little better. All right. So now um, if you notice, uh, if you notice right here, sometimes when I used to, when I, when I got started a long time ago in graphic design, it used to confuse me, where am I? Am I on my page number or, or am I on my folio? I, I have no idea where I am. Am I on my master pages or am I on my actual page? I don't know. But here's a cool little thing just to, to, to remind yourself that you're in your master pages. If you see this highlighted, that just means you're in your page, your, your master page. So by seeing this highlighted, you can definitely tell that you're in your master which is a good tip and trick. So anyway, I'm going to set my or assign my uh, page numbers. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit my type tool. Go ahead and draw with my text box. All right. Uh, go up to insert special characters, which you're going to find that under type. Go all the way down to insert special characters. You're going to go to markers. My mouse is acting a little weird. So insert special character markers, current page number. All right, right now, um, an A is assigned to the document simply because we're in our master page A. Now, that's going to uh, be different for every master page. Please do not go in and type the A. It has to be assigned by InDesign by doing type, insert special characters, markers, current page number. All right, so please don't go in there and type an A because it will not work. Uh, I'm going to change the... Let's just do minion bold. All right, I'm going to change that. And also, two, I don't want it that big. So I'm going to go in and just make it maybe 10 points. All right now, I've already assigned my right hand page. 
folio, or I'm sorry, my left-hand page folio, I want to go in and assign the right-hand page. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. Draw a text box. Go to Type. Insert special characters, markers, current page number. All right. Then I'm going to do the same thing I did before. Change the font on that. It's a little big, 12 points, so I'm going to just take it down to 10. And also, too, I want to align it with the edge of my grid here, so I'm going to just do a right alignment. Move it over. All right. So now, if you look, I'm just going to uh, go in here. We've got our left-hand page assigned and our right-hand page assigned. So now, if I click on any of my pages inside of my document, let's just go ahead and start with three. I'm going to zoom in here so you guys can see it just a little better. All right. So now, for example, I go to my page number two. You can see that two has been assigned. All right. Uh, do the same thing for page four. So that means that my page numbers have been assigned to each and every page that has a master page on it. So let's just say um, for my cover, I don't want a page number on it. Uh, the thing you can do if you look up here in pages uh, or your master pages, you've got none. That just simply says that uh, there aren't any master pages assigned to that page. So what I can do is click on that, drag and drop it over uh, the page that I don't want the master page assigned to, and booyah, there you go. Um, it's taken off right away. So I'm going to do that to my cover page and also to my back page. All right. Um, Inside of your master pages, too, you can always add more master pages. So I'm going to go in here and uh, just add a master page. Oops, I don't know why that just came up. But anyway, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to do new master. You can control click on the master page and do new, new master. In this case, uh, it's going to be a master page B. I'm going to just name this header. Press OK. All right, so basically, let's just say I want it to assign, I don't know, type, or let's just say a chapter number, or my chapter pages, or something like that. Um, I can go in and type on my master page, or assign my type. In this case, I'm just going to name it header, and make it super big, 72, right? So I've got my cute little header here inside of my master page B. All right, let's just say I wanted to assign that to my page four. I can take that master page B and drag and drop it over that page and then all of a sudden it's got my master page assigned to it. So now if I double click that page, right now I can't go in, if you notice I'm clicking here, I can't go in and change my type, which puts me at a dilemma. <laughs> anyway, but there's a way uh, in InDesign that you can change that type. So if you hit Shift and Command and click, that allows you to type. So I'm just going to do tips and tricks. All right, so there we go. So if you look here, you can go in and type inside of that header or whatever you want to assign. But however, if I go back to my master page B, it's not affected. So I'm going to just go ahead and do that to another page, which is bring, drag and drop uh, my master page over the page number. And if you notice now, it's got my B assigned to it. Double click on that page. I can shift, command, click, and change the actual type. All right? So that's kind of cool um, in InDesign. So uh, that's a basic overview of your master pages. Now remember, master pages are anything consistent in, in your multi-page document. Uh, headers, footers, folios, so things like that. Um, so uh, thanks for tuning in, and this is Season from Stuart Design, and I hope you learned something. Thanks a lot.